When you plug a 1, a 2, and a 3 in for this, you should get 6. When you plug a 1, a 2, and a 3 in right here, you should get negative 4. Okay, so when you get your solutions, make sure that they do work for all three of your equations. Because if they don't, then you did something wrong. Okay? Now, how do we write this answer? Because remember, we're looking for a point. Now, when we have an x-y axis, it's an ordered pair because there's only two points. But when we have a three-dimensional x, y, and z axis, there's three points. So guess what? It's just like an ordered pair except we have a third point. And it still goes in alphabetical order. x is 1, y is 2, z is 3. And that's how you finalize your answer. Okay, now I want you to look in your book on page 142. <coughs> Under the check for understanding section at number four. Now when I write this out, I'm going to leave some space so that I can line everything up and really see what I'm looking at here. equation I don't have a z. In the second equation I don't have a y. So we can either group the first two equations and get rid of what? y. That's the only thing we could get rid of. Then we could group the second two equations and get rid of y. And then we could solve for x and z, right? That's pretty much all we can do. So we're going to start by grouping equations number 1 and 2. And I'm going to get rid of y. Well, to get rid of y, I need to turn those coefficients into what? I want them to disappear. So they need to be the same number, and one needs to be plus, and one needs to be minus. So what number can I turn 2 and 3 into? 6, okay? All right, so we're going to multiply the first equation by 3. All right, so here's step 1. I'm going to take the first equation, multiply it times 3. It's going to give me 3x plus 6y equals 36. I'm going to multiply the second equation by what? Negative 2, which is going to give me negative 6y plus 8z equals negative 50. Will this eliminate y? Yes. I'm left with an equation of two variables, and I can't solve right now for either x or z, but I have less variables. What was the second step I gave you? <clears throat> Where is the first and second 
Okay, we just did that. Group the second and third equations. I'm trying to extend my page. I don't know why my little selection is not there. All right, so my second step is to group these two equations and get rid of y. Well, what do I have to do to one of the equations to get rid of y? If I multiply this equation by negative 2, it will give me negative 6 plus 6, which gets rid of y, correct? Okay. So my second step, I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative 2. It gives me negative 6y plus 8z equals negative 50. The, second, the third equation does not have to change. Are you lost? Okay. I'm multiplying this equation by negative 2. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. <coughs> negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Negative 2 times 25 is negative 50. My goal now is to work on these two and eliminate y. So I want negative 6 plus 6. The third equation does not have to change. Has y eliminated? Yes. So I have x plus 9z equals negative 30. Now look at the red and the green that I've created. I have a system with two unknown variables. Now I'm going to take those two and I'm going to solve through elimination and find out what is x, what is z. And then finally, I'm going to plug those values back into one of the originals to find out what is y. Okay? It's a long process. No, we're going to use elimination. Okay? make some room. Okay, the two new equations that I created. Or right, this one. And this one. Now, how can I eliminate something? If I multiply the green equation by negative 3, that will eliminate x, right? Okay. Let's scoot it up so we have some room here. Okay. So I'm going to multiply this equation by negative 3. The red equation does not change. Green equation becomes negative 3x minus 27z equals 90. My x is eliminated. I've got negative what? 19z equals positive 76. 